1945 when World War II ended. The United States and the Soviet Union began a standoff called the Cold War. In the standoff, both powers had equal potential of destruction. This is when the United States military needed to gain access to the Soviet airspace without detection and innovation to aircraft design, something expeditious yet quiet they were looking for today's B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. Manufacturing Northrop Gumman Corporation Power Plant Four General Electric F-118 jet engines with 17,300 pounds of thrust. Wingspan 172 feet. Top speed high subsonic classified. Length 69 feet. Payload 40,000 pounds. Range 6,000 miles. There's nothing like the V-2. Its technical achievements are too long to list. It's the first large stealth aircraft. By 1988, the V-2 Spirit stealth bomber was in action. The U.S. military answered the escalating Cold War with the perfect aircraft. The B-2 wasn't only for the Cold War, but also to replace the B-52 bomber. The wing-like shape and ram, or radar absorbent materials, keeps the B-2 practically invisible, stealthy. It also produces less of an infrared signature and less acoustic signature. These key advantages truly innovate modern warfare. The U.S. military's idea was very successful when entering the Soviet airspace. Their idea wasn't to fly by so quickly that the Soviets couldn't stop them, or fly over them, but to soar softly and quietly where no one could hear or detect the two-seated aircraft. Not only did the slide design innovate air attacks, but the payload and armament were unbelievable. The plane can fly with an incredible 40,000 pounds and is armed with 16 2,000 pound JDAMs and 80 500 pound bombs in the bomb bay. With the assistance of satellite control, the JDAMs can accurately hit targets and can be released individually. This means the bombs may be released at 16 different times to hit 16 different targets. The stealth bomber contained only two problems, one of which is the stability. Given the nickname Wobbling Goblin, the B-2 couldn't be controlled at low speeds. It wasn't until later the B-2s were constructed with computer pilots. The computers assisted flight with the actual pilot. Another opposition of the B-2 is the budget. Each time a B-2 Spirit stealth bomber is manufactured, the Department of Air Force spends $2.1 billion. Compared to the Nimitz-class aircraft carrier at $4.5 billion, the stealth bomber is extremely expensive. However, given the accomplishments of the B-2's mission, the expenditure is well worth it. As you can see, innovation along with payload and fear factor is rated off the scale. Defensive armament is amongst the best of all bombers. Even though the B-2 can only manage 40 hour flights, those 40 hours are not wasted. 